Hey, it's Michael Lafito, author of the book, Luxury Listing Specialist, and I'm the founder of the Lux Designation for Real Estate Agents. We're doing an upcoming live event. It's gonna be amazing, great location. It's at AXR Winery. All the details are gonna be at luxurydesignation.com. Check out luxurydesignation.com. And if you're watching this after the event, you can always go to luxurydesignation.com or go to our website, Luxury Listing Specialist, and click on the event page for any upcoming trainings. But in this week's video, we're gonna talk about the power of little fixes, little things that you can do as an agent to make your property stand out, your listing stand out. You know, recently I sold my own home and I used Old English to cover up scratches that it, from our dogs or whatever they might be in the floor, my kids dropping things, as well as even in vanities. If you have wood vanity bases or hardwood floors, literally Old English will cover up scratches, they'll, they'll camouflage some imperfections, and a bottle for five or six dollars will literally go, you know, thousands of dollars, make your property look above. So this is just one little tip for you as an agent. If you're going on an appointment, you're meeting with the seller, and maybe they have dogs or some deferred maintenance, literally roll up your sleeves, get a dirty rag out, clean, do some of these things yourself. You gotta be willing to do the things your competition isn't willing to do. Literally, I was recently on an appointment and I had to do those things. I just put a $3 million home on the market and a painter was supposed to do some touch-ups and the painter canceled at the last moment. So you'll see pictures of this home come across and literally the painter canceled. So I told the seller, hey, I don't mind doing some touch-ups. I've done enough painting in my day. And so I went over there. I put some crummy clothes on, if you will, brought a ladder, threw a tarp down and I did some touch-ups and it was just this seller was very he was very particular he's left brain which is great that's why the home was amazing and per personally i didn't think the touch-ups were necessarily but necessary but again in a difficult market you got to be willing to do the things your competition isn't as a seller and as an agent to differentiate yourself from the competition you got to be willing to do the things your competition is and so i literally went over there with a the paint a can, a paintbrush, a tarp, and a towel, and I, I, I touch things up. So as an agent, that's one way you can differentiate yourself. So this video tip is just, again, taking care of blemishes on your properties. It could be as simple as a five or six dollar can of Old English to touch some things up in the hardwood floors if there's some dog scratches and that sort of thing, or for you to be willing to roll up your sleeves and do the things that maybe your competition isn't willing to do. I recently had the opportunity to, to market a home uh, that was uh, 1.8 million. The agent was, excuse me, the homeowner was interviewing other agents because it didn't sell with another agent. And she told me, because one of the things I brought up is, hey, I'm not sure, but the smoke detectors, you need to change out the batteries. There was a loud, obnoxious chirping going on. She said, oh, I know. My previous agent, I asked her to change them out because we're out of state, we couldn't change them out. And she said, I'm not getting up on a ladder. Now again, maybe somebody's got a bad back or there's some health reasons why that agent wouldn't get on a, a ladder. But I said, I'll, I'll be happy to change out the battery. I changed out the battery and guess what? They ended up going with a cheaper agent, someone that discounted and they didn't even hire me. But I didn't care, I was willing to do it. So differentiate yourself from the competition. I believe it's easy to do. There's 1.4 million real estate agents out there. So what are you willing to do? One, you have to be honest with people. You gotta be direct with people. And if there's some imperfections and there's some things a homeowner can do on a shoestring budget or you can help them, then I highly recommend it. So Old English, I recommend it for hiding and, and camouflaging imperfections in hardwood floors and vanity and other wood work. That's our tip for this month. Again, my contact information is below. If you have any questions real estate related at all, let me know. Michael Lafito, and we'll talk to you soon.